Uh, patients who get radiation commonly require skin creams for the treatment of radiation dermatitis. Patients have traditionally been recommended to avoid applying skin creams for several hours prior to radiation because of concern that the presence of the cream could increase the dose to the skin. Um, however, this recommendation came about based on treatment given decades ago with orthovoltage beams, which were much lower energy and were associated with higher skin dose. So the question is, in the modern era with high energy linear accelerators, if this recommendation, while still very popular, is still relevant. So we hypothesized that um, skin creams, whether containing metal or not containing metal, um, if applied just prior to radiation, would have minimal effect on skin dose. And we tried to assess our hypothesis by performing two sets of experiments. One involved um, physics experiments using dosimeters and phantoms to measure the skin dose in the presence or absence of creams of varying thickness using varied uh, beams, both of beam energy, both electron and photon, and different beam angles. Uh, and we found that there was no difference in the surface dose, regardless of the creams used or the beam angles, or the energies, except in the case of very copiously applied creams, really an extreme case of, of, of thickly applied cream, where there was a difference. We also performed experiments, uh, preclinical experiments, using mouse models in which mice were irradiated in the presence or absence of, of uh, creams of varying thickness, and we found that there was no difference in the staining for GIM H2AX, a marker of DNA damage repair um, associated with uh, in the presence or absence of the creams. So we feel that, you know, based on this research, patients who apply a thin or a moderately thick amount of creams just prior to their treatment should not affect skin dose, and it's really only in the case of a very thickly applied cream, you know, more than three millimeters, where there may be uh, increased skin dose as a result of that. So that we wouldn't recommend. But in general, we think that, you know, practices should start to evolve and patients should be avoided, should not be told this sort of, this old recommendation, which may not be so valid.